that 7.30 sales meeting. <sighs> I'm not even awake yet. What time did he say he was going to get here? Well, he should be here any minute. Now, what's this meeting supposed to be about, anyway? He said something about selling the Terra. I think he's wasting his time trying to convince us that the Terra is a saleable item. He's really got his work cut out for him. <laughs> you know it. I haven't been able to convince one single prospect that the Terra is any bit better than a mini import. And on top of that, our truck costs a lot more. I know. When a prospect brings up the price, well, what can I say? When people look at that little four-cylinder engine and the 6,200-pound GVWR, they always say the same thing. We need more power than that. I mean, what are you going to say to that? There's nothing much you can say. But we always come back to the price. How do you justify the price differential against, say, a Love or a Datsun? When they find out they can't put a 4x8 piece of plywood in the bed, that really finishes it off. Good morning, Charlie. Bill? Sorry I was late. I couldn't help overhearing your conversation. Our sales meeting this morning is concerned with how to sell the Terra against the many imports. <laughs> this ought to be good. Unless you've got a miracle or two up your sleeve, there ain't no way. Man of little faith, come with me. I've got a Terra and a Datsun pickup out back. I'm going to show you how to effectively sell the Terra. This I gotta see. You will. I picked the Datsun because right now it's selling number one. A fact I'd like to see changed. Let's go. One thing about our trusty sales manager, he never gives up. You know, the trend today is away from using trucks like those pickups strictly for commercial purposes. In fact, commercial use accounts for only about 20% of all purchases of our new line of scouts. Did you know that 80% of our new scout line is purchased for personal transportation? It stands to reason. Consider this. More and more people because they must live in an urban environment, like to get away from it all in their leisure time, which they have more of now than ever before. In a study we conducted in the first quarter of 1976, we discovered that by far the majority of Terra owners use the vehicle for commuting. This Terra and this Datsun are good examples of vehicles that more and more people are considering as alternatives, either to a passenger car or a full-size pickup. We know all that. Our problem is being able to convince a prospect that his best choice in the less than full-size pickup category is the Terra. Bill has hit the problem on the head. Those mini imports with their low price and light weight give us some mighty tough competition. Okay, what's the single most common objection you get when selling the Terra? Price. All right, let's talk about price. Your prospects say it's too high. The question is, higher than what? You know, the price of a product is relative to the value or usefulness of that product to a particular prospect. When a prospect considers only the price without looking at what he's getting for his money, he's making a mistake. It's your job as salesman to guide him to the correct buying decisions by pointing out that price is justified by value. Yeah, we've heard that before. But what do you say to a prospect that has gone shopping and discovered the price of the Terra is quite a bit more than the mini imports? Well, you'd better be ready with solid facts to justify the difference in price. You always have to consider price in relation to the features, advantages, and benefits of the product being sold. You have to carefully compare what the competition is offering, such as economy, for instance. You have to ask yourself, at what price economy? What are you giving up to get a few miles per gallon better fuel economy? And then ask yourself if it's worth it. Well, I'll agree with you there. Maybe we haven't taken a close enough look at Terra. Let's look at Terra and Dawson side by side. Compare them and see what we've got. Let's start with sales feature number one, performance. While the Dawson offers only one engine, a four-cylinder, 119 cubic inch gasoline unit. Our Terra offers as standard a 196 cubic inch four-cylinder gasoline engine and, as optional, a 304 cubic inch V8, a 345 V8, and a 198 Nissan diesel engine. When we compare horsepower ratings, we find that the one standard Datsun engine develops 97 horsepower 
as opposed to Terra's 86 horsepower. But look at the difference in torque requirements. Datsun needs 4,600 RPMs to do the job, but Terra only needs 3,800 RPMs, which means less total effort on the engine. Don't forget high altitude applications where V8 power is essential. Such applications as plowing snow also requires additional power. While we're on the subject of power, the Datsun offers a four-speed manual transmission as standard and a three-speed automatic as optional. Frankly, I don't see how that powertrain compares favorably with the Terra's standard three-speed. But most people look at the four-speed as preferable. If a prospect objected to our standard three-speed transmission, it would be wise to point out that our engine develops more torque at lower engine speeds. So we only need three gears, not four. Yes, but our engines are cast iron, which adds weight to the truck and consequently cuts fuel economy. Certainly that is a concern many people have, but remember that a truck needs to be durable. Cast iron is heavy, yes, but you can't beat it for outstanding durability and long dependable life. That brings us to Terra's second sales feature, durability. Let's start with the rugged full-length steel box frame which provides all the strength and durability your customer needs. With Terra, quality construction prevails throughout, like this double panel hood, which gives greater rigidity and muffles engine noise. I noticed that Dodson has only single wall construction. That's right. Our Terra features double wall box construction for maximum strength and protection against dents in the outer skin caused by load shifting. And Terra also features a double wall smooth surface tailgate for maximum efficiency in loading. This Datsun doesn't offer undercoating as standard either, does it? No, it doesn't, but Terra does. In addition, we offer an aluminized muffler for quiet operation and long life. Terra is designed, engineered, and built to stand up to the toughest driving and still deliver comfort, stability, and endurance. You know when you fold the Datsun's tailgate down, the sides of the box are unsupported, which could cause buckling of the sides when loading the bed. The load capacity of the Terra is 2,400 pounds without a driver. Charlie, how much do you think you can load on a Datsun? Well, I think it's only 1,400 pounds less driver. That's quite a difference, you know. But you still can't get a 4x8 sheet of plywood to lie flat in the bed. If a prospect offers the plywood objection, you might ask him how many sheets of plywood he hauls in a year. That should minimize his objection. From the strong steel frame to the steel leaf springs in the rear, Terra's built to haul a half ton more than any Mini. Another durability feature is Terra's cooling system. For the rugged off-road or high-speed driving conditions, and particularly in hot climates, the engine needs the added extra of an increased cooling system. This is especially true in a towing application. You know, Bill, the Terra, unlike many of the many imports, offers an increased cooling system for optimum engine operating temperatures under all driving conditions. Considering the materials from which Terra is constructed and the background of truck engineering know-how, wouldn't you agree that Terra is a better built vehicle than the Datsun? Yes, I guess I have to agree with you on the durability aspect, but increased durability might not mean all that much to somebody who's looking at a pickup for transportation primarily. There's something else to remember. With Terra, you've got a lot more vehicle than a mini import. Therefore, it will be worth more when trade-in time rolls around. Well, it seems to me that if we're going to successfully sell Terra and justify the price, we're going to have to talk personal comforts. Bill, I think you have a good point. You know, today's buyer is not about to sacrifice comfort for low price. In the sport utility market, the prospect wants a tough, dependable truck that rides like and has all the comforts of a passenger car. To that end, Terra offers 16 standard features, such as dual chrome door-mounted mirrors. Datsun has only one mirror on the driver's side. For better appearance and as a safety feature, Terra provides chrome front and rear bumpers. Datsun has no rear bumper as standard. I never noticed before, but this Datsun doesn't have any vent windows. That's right, Charlie. When Terra was designed, none of the little extras were left out. So you'll find vent windows on all our Scouts. 
Probably one of the most attractive features in Terra's cab is the 11 cubic foot storage space behind the front seat. You can stow a lot of gear for camping, hunting, or fishing. Dotson doesn't seem to have any in-cab storage space at all. So how much can you actually get in there? I'm glad you asked that. Take a look at this. IH ran an experiment to show how much camping equipment would fit back of the seat. Besides being able to store gear or equipment behind the rear seat, the point is that the cab can be locked, thereby protecting valuables from theft. Now tell me, where would you store any gear in a Mini like this Datsun? Now there you've got me. Look at the difference in thickness of the seats. And look at the difference in the thickness of the seat backs. Terra's seat back sure is a lot thicker. Looks like it would be more comfortable too. Terra also offers direct reading gauges for ammeter, oil, fuel, and temperature. Dotson only has indicator lights. That represents another quality feature. Charlie, if you'll pick up the floor mat on your side, you'll find nothing there but bare metal. The Terra has a juke mat under the heavy gauge vinyl floor mat for sound insulation. That's quality. While you're down there, check out the size of the clutch, brake, and accelerator pedals. These pedals are really small. It seems that larger pedals, like those of Terra, are a safety feature. Notice also that Terra has an optional seven position tilt steering wheel for ease of entry and exit, and a collapsible steering column. The Dotson steering wheel does not tilt. Therefore, the space between the wheel and the driver is constant. Terra allows for more leg room, too. The distance from pedal to seat back on the Terra is 44 inches, as opposed to Dotson's 37 inches. This feature allows for driver comfort and a feeling of spaciousness. There also seems to be more headroom in this Terra. I like that. As I'm sure you'll have to agree, there's a lot to like with Terra. International trucks, in response to changing markets and lifestyles, develop the Terra specifically for the customer who wants an alternative to the full-size pickup, but is not willing to sacrifice his comfort or weight-carrying capability. Not only does Terra offer definite interior quality features, but it is also much more maneuverable than many of the Minis, including this Datsun. Of course, part of maneuverability is being able to see exactly where you're going. The short hood design of the Terra provides excellent visibility, and it opens from the rear, not the front, for safety in case of a collision. Let's look at comparative turning diameters. The Datsun with a 100.2 inch wheelbase, turns in a minimum of 36 feet 10 inches. And the Terra, with a 17.8 inch longer wheelbase, turns in only 38 feet 10 inches. Outmaneuvering competition on or off the road. Terra provides power disc brakes on the front wheels to assure fade resistant, sure braking under all conditions. Dotson uses drum type brakes on all four wheels which do not provide maximum resistance to brake failure. The tires are larger on the Terra, but I don't see what difference that makes. For one thing, our larger tires translate to increased ground clearance, as well as assuring longer tire wear. That brings us to our fifth sales feature, optional equipment. With Terra, your prospect can customize his vehicle to suit his personal tastes and way of life. Well, I guess we have to find out which options we offer that the Datsun doesn't. Let's start with towing capabilities. If your customer is interested in using his Terra to tow his travel or horse trailer, for instance, the Terra towing package is just for him. Terra's towing package includes a 61 amp alternator, a 72 amp 12 volt battery, six way wiring harness, heavy duty flasher, and a class 3 equalizer hitch to easily tow anything up to 5,000 pounds. Terra offers two V8s, a 304 and a larger 345 to meet any towing need. Most of the mini imports, including this Datsun, make no provision for towing. And another thing, I believe their choice of interior and exterior trim options is also limited. That's right. The Terra customer can choose from a wide variety of interior trim packages, ranging from standard to custom or deluxe, with bucket seats and extra storage space. Terra also features bold, vibrant exterior trim combinations from which to choose. Distinctive touches can be added, such as rally applique, feather design, cork or white side panels. 
If you wanted a different looking pickup with this Datsun, you'd have to pay for a custom paint job. You know, while Terra may be intermediate in size, it cannot be termed a compromise in any way. Terra is a response to a need, a vehicle that matches the changing requirements of a growing number of pickup users. The Terra is also available in four-wheel drive, which is an important option the Mini simply don't offer. So, the Terra, with its emphasis on performance, designed to coincide with the customer's transportation and load-carrying needs, durability to meet and beat the toughest terrain available, superior maneuverability to get your customer into and out of tight urban and off-road driving situations, and finally, the ultimate in driver comfort and smooth rideability makes Terra the different one from International. Well, I've got to admit I was wrong. The Terra does offer the pickup customer more than he can get in a mini import. You've sold me too. I guess we weren't really looking at the Terra in the right way before. The features you pointed out do justify the higher price of the Terra. You were right when you said I never give up. And neither does International when it comes to meeting the needs of a changing market and providing our customers with the best possible service.